सदाशिवसमारंभम शंकराचार्यपर्यंदम वंदे ಪೀತಾಂಬರಂಕರಣಿರಾಜಿತಚಕ್ರಶಂಖಕೌಮೋದಕೀಸಹಾಯಂಅತಿಸುಂದರಮಂಗಹಾಸಂಕಾಲ
My father was in, in his mother's Kayadu's room. And he, by birth, he had the culture of Vishnu Bhakti. And he was a Vishnu Bhakti also. And every time he used to chant Narayan Mantra. Or this culture irritated his father. And he tried to kill him. First of all, he sent to the Gurugula, where Shanda, Shanda Maka, the teachers, and they taught Raja Dharma, all and every dharmas, and how to rule them. Being a Vishnu devotee, Every he heard, but every time he was chanting Narayana Mantra. After all, he told his friends in the group, chant Narayana Mantra. Again, he became too much arrogant towards his small son with about five, six years old. He caught, called him and keeping him in his lap, he asked, Oh, son Prakhlada, what have you said? Oh, father, everywhere in the world, Sri Narayana is there. In every human being, in every particle of Mud even, only Narayana, he is not pervading. Something to tell you that Narayana Bhakti is the devotion towards Narayana is the only way for you to rule properly. Please throw away your ego. Then he became too much angry and he threw him. He tried to kill him, rolling him from the mountains, biting with the snakes and giving poison along the field. So, through so many ways he tried to kill, but every time Lord Vishnu saved him. Again he was chanting Narayana, Narayana, Narayana like that. And at last he told, can you tell that your Narayana is the in this pillar which has been made out of me. I have, I have made it. Oh Father, he is in you and in this pillar and in this plant and in this uh, the whole palace or everywhere I can see only Narayana. You are also Nara. Again, he became too much angry and took his sword. And with maximum force, he gave a threat to the pillar in, in which he told it. Narayana is from that. This lion and human being body with maximum sound came out in the form of Nara and Simha. Nara means again man. So the head of Simha means lion. Again, he pointed fought with him. Narasimha took him and keeping him on his lap. And, and the, the time was the time of sunset, Sandhya, it was not neither morning time or noon time or day time or night. So it was the between time with his nails opened his chest and from that he took the, the whole, bitten the whole intestine and the blood was coming out. And at the time, one lesser of light from his body was the giant Lord Mahavishnu. And then everybody were there from heaven, kings of the world, Narada Muni was there, Brahma was there, Rishis were there. Everybody were frightened too much seeing this unique form in incarnation and they prayed. And after all, Sri Narayana told him, Oh, Prakhara, go to him. Then a beautiful prayer towards Prakhara, his Tuti Devi Tanya, is the praying that, Oh Lord Krishna, I am never fear about to change, about your incarnation. Because you are the only person who kept me like this. And he prayed with so many soldiers. And at last he asked, Oh, Sri Prakhara, what do you say? I want only your blessings and devotion towards your sacred feet. I beg only that. Your, uh, my thoughts should be fixed on your feet. Please give my, uh, give me unchangeable, ir irremovable devotion towards you. And also, please give salvation to my beloved father, Hiranyakashipu. That's all. And he told, you will rule this world, Lord Narasimha told that. You will rule this world, Dharma. Your of course, your father will. Just by my touch, he had got the salvation. Because of his karma on him, he uh, took a birth of Enasu. Now he is with him and he will the bhakti in you or the devote, uh, your devotion towards the Lord Vishnu will increase and increase. So, here, from this story, it's a story of killing of ahankara, killing of ego. Ego is the thing. For the ego, the mind is the cause. Because of mind only we are having the arrogance towards somebody else, thirst towards somebody else, thirst towards the taste, 
just towards the money, third towards the uh, power, etc. etc. So, for those things, there are six enemies of mind Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Mada, and Matsa. So, these are the six enemies of mind. To conquer the, these six enemies, pray Lord Krishna. And whenever a good thing comes to you, think that it's a blessing of Lord Krishna. Whenever you think a bad thing has come to you, think that again that's a blessing of Lord Krishna. So if you're thinking like that, we are the enemy of ourselves. Control your thoughts. Try to control your thoughts. Try to control your thirst towards the whole world. It is possible. Then the Almighty will give what to you. If, if it is received by his own decision, it will lead you. So it's also related with uh, yogi. So I am explaining that one. It may take too much time. So this is Narasimha incarnation in brief. Namaskar to all. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhi. Sarve Sandhu Niramaya. Sarve Adhirani Pashyantu. Ma Kastu Dukkha Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.